Hey guys, how's it going? I wanted to go over how to run automatic 1111 for free with a GPU because a lot of the resources that were previously available, such as Google Colab, are currently being blocked. And so it's really hard to now test different models with stable diffusion um, using a great resource from AWS called SageMaker Studio Lab that gives you free GPU and free CPU. And what you're going to need to do is apply for access to this. It'll take about a day. It took about a day for me to get approved. I'm thinking that's going to be, you know, pretty standard one to two days. But once you get approved, you can use basically a Python notebook with eight hours of CPU per day or four hours of GPU per day. And so if you're going to want to use automatic 1111, you need the GPU. Otherwise, it's going to be unbearably slow and it's going to be a lot more difficult to set up. So once you get access to this, and it's very simple to apply for, you just add your name and your company. So once you get access to it, select GPU and click start runtime. And they're going to give you this stupid CAPTCHA. And um, it's always the same thing. Okay, so once you get inside of the studio lab, what you're going to want to do is create a new terminal you can either create a notebook or a terminal but what we're going to do this all through the terminal and i'm going to walk you through each piece it's actually super simple to do this especially with the gpu so first we're going to need to clone the repo we're going to need to clone automatic 1111 stable diffusion web ui and to do that just copy this link from here and then go back to here and then do git clone so we're going to clone this repo locally and then we're going to CD into it. And what we're going to need to do is I already have a lot of this installed because I've run it before, but we're going to need to run this command. And basically what this is doing is it's installing a binding to the lower level C code. We don't need to worry about any of that because it's abstracted away from us. But basically, if you don't install this, it's going to throw an error, and it's because there's some bindings that need to be connected to the C code. Okay, so once we have that installed, we're actually ready to launch the web UI, and that's what this does. And we're using this command to basically speed up inference, and you don't need to worry about this. You could probably even just remove it. And this is the important part. We're basically tunneling our instance over the internet so that other people can access it and that we could open it up in a different window and use the UI there. And if you haven't heard of Ngrok, it's a free service. So feel free to create an account and create your own auth token to use. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using my own auth token. By the time I've recorded this video, I'm going to change it. So this won't work. So you're going to need to create your own, but it's simple and it's free. So just do that. So we copy this. And then we're going to go ahead and run this. And it's going to be much faster for me because I've already run it before. But if it's your first time running this, it's going to install PyTorch and a bunch of um, dependencies that are required. So it might take a little bit longer, but probably just like 30 seconds. It's pretty fast. And so it says launching web UI. Let's wait until... Okay, it's going to download a model for us to use as well. And this is the link that we're going to be able to use to um, open up the UI. And so let's just wait till this is done running. I guess I can just copy this. And I think this should be done so we can, or maybe it's not. Let's just give it a couple more seconds. And I think it actually should be good to go. So let's go ahead and open this up. Awesome. So this is our UI that we have, and you can try some prompts here. I'm just going to try something really simple here, and then we're going to run this and let's see if it works. Yeah, it's going to work. Okay. So not quite raining cheese, but a bunch of different cheese, which is good. And if we go back to here, we can see the progress. Everything's being logged to the terminal here. I'm going to show you one additional thing that's going to be super useful to you. Um, let's open up another terminal. We can download other models besides just the default one. And a really good resource to do that is some civetai.com. So this has a bunch of uh, third party models and checkpoints that we can just download and use. 
So we're going to use this one called Epic Photogasm, which is a bunch of realistic images. So let's download this. And there's probably a better way to do this. And let me know if there is in the comments below. I would love to know. But what I do is I click this button and then I do copy link address. And then we're going to download it in our notebook under models. So let's go into models and then skew into stable diffusion. And then we're going to do W get, and I think it was called, we're going to name it So do Let's see, photogasm.safe tensors, and then paste this in. The safe tensors extension basically just prevents malicious code being, from being executed once we downloaded this. And you're going to need to check the file extension. We know it's not safe tensors here because it's saying it's a safe tensor model, but it might not be depending on which model you choose. And this website has like uh, like thousands and thousands of different checkpoints and models that you can use. So double check, but this should work. So let's go ahead and download this. And it's going to take probably about a minute to download this from the web. And we should, if we go into here, and then if we go into models, we should see, and then if we go into stable diffusion, we should see like the progress in this file. So I'll open it up. Hopefully this is working. So yeah, it's showing the progress here. We'll just wait till this is done running and I can also fast forward it. Okay, cool. So it's done running 100% is downloaded. You're gonna have to check this file every now and then, but it only took 30 seconds. So if we go back to our UI here and if we just click this refresh button, we'll be able to see that we now have this new model that we downloaded called Photogasm or Epic Photogasm. And just wait for it to load. And what we can do is we can copy this prompt that they use and put this in here and then copy the negative prompt as well and then just run this and we'll see what happens. Okay, awesome. Wow, it looks very realistic. Hard to even tell that this is AI generated. That's pretty cool. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense. I think this is the easiest way to get automatic 11.11 stable diffusion web UI up and running with a GPU for free. And so I think this is an excellent resource to try out. And if you run into any difficulty, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to answer any questions. The first time you run this, it is a bit tricky, but hopefully, you know, this is fairly straightforward and I'll just copy and paste this into the description as well so you can use it. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much. Bye.